Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Soap Queen TV. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to be doing an emulsified salt scrub. What's an emulsified salt scrub, you ask? Well, it's a lotion, a liquid soap, and a salt scrub all in one. Exfoliation has so many fantastic benefits. I exfoliate a couple times a week. This helps to unclog your pores and allows your moisturizer to sink in even more deeply. What's the difference between a traditional basic scrub and an emulsified scrub? Well, with a basic scrub, it's usually just a carrier oil and some sort of exfoliant added together. And eh, it's a little bit gloppy. It does the trick, but it's not so great for shipping and it can leave your tub a little oily. An emulsified sugar or salt scrub is a lotion, a liquid soap, and a scrub all rolled into one. Check this out. Doesn't that have great texture? You can see how thick it is. Even when you turn it upside down, it doesn't come out, making it perfect for shipping. Before we get started making our emulsified sugar and salt scrubs, let's talk about the luxurious products we're going to be putting into them. The oils I've chosen to use in the scrub are really wonderful for your skin. Sweet almond oil is high in linoleic and oleic fatty acids, making it have excellent penetrating properties and helping to restructure your skin. Mango butter is solid at room temperature but melts on contact with your skin, making it the ultimate in nourishing oils. And you could even use this plain just as a lip balm. I'm using Brambleberry's liquid soap base, which is made from an all natural Castile product, meaning it's made exclusively from olive oil. There are lots of exfoliant choices that you can use. Some of them are sugar, jojoba beads, these ones are dyed purple, and cranberry seeds. What I've chosen to use today is dead sea salt. It's high in magnesium and bromides, which helps relax and soothe the skin. A preservative is particularly important in this scrub because we've got water in the scrub. Anytime you're making a recipe that has water and oils mixed together, germs and bacteria love this and want to grow, grow, grow little microbes in mold. You don't want this in any scrub that you make. The preservative you choose to use is totally up to you, but I urge you to do some research. I've written a book that's available at brambleberry.com and an extra in-depth video on how to make lotions with a special section on preservatives and why they're so important. Needless to say, for this recipe, you need to use a preservative. My choice is Phenonip, but you could use Optifen or Germaben too. And I know you wanna get started making your scrub right now, but there's one really important step that we have to take first. We need to sterilize all of our equipment we're going to be using. To sterilize your products, Make a bleach water solution. Take one gallon of distilled water and one ounce of bleach. Mix these together. Thoroughly immerse every single piece of equipment you're going to be using for this project in this mixture. All of my equipment has already been sterilized, so it's time to get started. In a heat safe container, combine 0.7 ounces of beeswax, 1.2 ounces of emulsifying wax, 1.9 ounces of sweet almond oil, and 0.6 ounces of stearic acid. Put this into the microwave for one to two minutes. It's been exactly two minutes and this is totally melted. Notice it's a little warm so I had to use a heat pad to get it out of the microwave. Stir in the one ounce of mango butter. The reason we're stirring it in now, instead of putting it in the microwave, is because mango is a little persnickety. It doesn't like to get too hot. Sometimes it can go grainy on you if that happens. So we're going to be melting it down gently and safely and naturally by just stirring it into our hot oils and waxes. Set your oils and waxes aside, and now it's time for phase two. In a smaller container, put three ounces of distilled water and three ounces of Brambleberry's All Natural Castile base together. Put this water and liquid soap base mixture into the microwave for one minute. Now that the liquid soap and water mixture is warm, 
make sure that you have enough room in your waxes and oils container to hold the entire mixture because you're going to be pouring your water and liquid soap into the oil wax mixture. This next process happens pretty quick. You ready? Slowly pour in your liquid soap and water mixture while stirring with a spoon. Look at that. Do you see it's already going white? Do you see it's already getting kind of thick? Wow. Take your stick blender, turn it on to short bursts. Look how thick this is. It sure thickened up quick, didn't it? Now it's time to take the temperature. Remember, phenonip doesn't work very well if the temperature of the product you're putting it into is above 145 degrees. So temperature is very important. We're below 145 degrees, so I can add my phenonip and my fragrance. Phenonip is usually used at 0.5% to 1%. For this recipe, I'm using 0.1 ounces of phenonip. Now it's time to add the fragrance. You don't need much, just about 0.1 ounces of Moroccan mint fragrance. I chose this because it's really fresh and invigorating, perfect for a scrub. Now, looking at my bowl, it's pretty clear I'm not going to be able to fill this with 21 to 28 ounces of dead sea salt. So I'm going to transfer this to a larger container. All right, it's time to add the star of the show, the dead sea salt. You can use anywhere between 21 and 28 ounces. The more dead sea salt you add, the thicker your scrub gets and the more scratchy it gets. Just add this dead sea salt and stir. So you can either spoon this into your jars or pour it. It really depends on how much salt you've added. If you've added a lot more salt than I have, you probably will end up having to scoop it out. This recipe makes right around 32 ounces of product. All that's left to do now is cap and label. If you're going to label these products to sell, you can either go to the FDA website where it talks about how to label cosmetics and lotions and soaps, or at Soap Queen Royale, you can download a PDF of either sugar or salt scrub labels that have been correctly labeled for this recipe. I left the contact place blank for you and also the fragrance blank so you can use any skin safe fragrance that you want. Download the PDF, print it on label stock, cut it, write in your information, put it on your jars and voila! Doesn't that look great? They look professional, they're properly labeled, and they have full ingredients on there. Thanks so much for joining me on this special edition episode of Soap Queen TV. Remember, making your own emulsified scrubs is really easy, and you can always sub out any of the oils that you want. Until next time, happy soaping.